हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर श्रीनाथ माजरेकर वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथमेटिक्स फॉर ऑल वंस अगेन आई एम ब्रिंगिंग यू टू द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज क्वांटम कैलकुलस क्यू कैलकुलस द न्यू वे ऑफ रिसर्च इन मैथमेटिक्स दो इट्स अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज इन्वेंटेड अर्लियर इन द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी इट हैज लॉट्स ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इन टू डेज वर्ल्ड सो लेट्स सी what are the basics and from where you can get the information about the quantum calculus so the q calculus that is quantum calculus is a methodology comparable to the usual study of calculus so it's kind of calculus but which is centered on the idea of deriving q analog results without using the limits so it's a calculus without limits one can say that the main tool is the q derivative it can also be think of as a equivalent to traditional infinitesimal calculus without the notation of limits so as i earlier said so q calculus is nothing but a calculus without limits it substitutes the classical derivative by difference operator which allows one to deal with sets of non differentiable functions there you can't have the non differentiable functions the calculus stuff here one can have so the quantum difference operator have an interesting role due to there are applications in several mathematical areas such as orthogonal polynomials basic hypergeometric functions combinatorics calculus of variations mechanics and the theory of relativity one can refer the article for the same so let's see what are the basic requirements as we are always saying that the field of quantum calculus these are the following basic requirements as i always have the calculus first and then fractional calculus because we now one can have the fractional q calculus also special functions yes q derivatives q integrals and we always have each word in quantum calculus as it is a new one it gives rise to a new learning so keep learning the basics always so these are the basic requirements now we have added the new topic within our video that is why should read the articles for research in quantum calculus as my point of view the first one is the history of q calculus and new method by thomas then we have q bernoulli numbers and polynomials by salim then we have on general q fourier transform as we have the q laplace transform also with non symmetric kernels so those who are interested in integral transform they can go further towards the q integral transforms especially q fourier q laplace transform and then we have a note on certain q identities especially for the hypergeometric functions and many more depending upon the research your interest of research as if you go for towards the operator theory if you go towards the calculus of variations you go towards the mechanics you go to the general relativity theory and so on so these are the basic research papers one can have there is articles towards the quantum calculus so let's see what are the journals related to the quantum calculus so where you can find out some scope in these journals or one can have the papers from these journals based upon some papers i have given some list of journals as follows the first one is advances in difference equation its aim is to report mainly the development in the field of difference equation and their application in all fields under springer open then we have journal of non linear mathematical physics it is a peer reviewed journal published by atlantis press from january 2021 the scope of journal is intended as a quantum algebra and integrability classical and quantum naming body problems along with applications in mathematical physics and lie group theory then we have american institute of mathematical sciences as from the website of this journal one can see that the journal stimulates the interaction between quantum calculus and its application by publication of primary research in this area featuring and reviewing articles which are of common interest to the practitioners in both the fields so one can have the second and third one are the important towards the quantum calculus so one can have one can find out lots of papers in these journals let's see some other 
but not limited because one can find lots of journals. Then we have computers and mathematics with applications. The Journal of Computer and Mathematics with application provides a medium of exchange for those engaged in these both fields towards the applications in computers, simulations for science and engineering using partial differential equations. So we have seen some papers in this journal also. Then we have applicable analysis and discrete method by gesture. There are some new papers in 2020 which are in these journals. Apart from these journals, there are lots of peer-reviewed journals who also scope for Q calculus, which we will see in these next lectures, as well as some journals with special editions are also there for quantum calculus towards the quantum calculus and its applications. Now, as we have seen some papers and journals, let's see some books also. So these are the some journals. Let's see to the books which one can read to know what is quantum calculus or Q-calculus. Let's see. The first basic book is a comprehensive treatment by Q-calculus by Thomas Ernst. And then we have a quantum calculus by Victor Kack. He is a famous mathematician towards the Q-calculus. This is a well introductory book for beginners in Q-calculus. So if those who are interested, one can go for the second book. In this book, they have derived or divided from the classical approach towards the quantum approach then we have q fractional calculus and equations so those are interested towards the q fractional calculus then we have applications of q calculus in operator theory those who are interested in operator theory by using quantum calculus they can read this book by Ravi Agarwal, Vijay Gupta and Aliyar. let's go towards some other books yes so those who are interested can Go further in the next lecture. We'll meet with the some more information, some more details about the research in quantum calculus. So please subscribe the channel to get more information towards the quantum calculus that is Q calculus. Thank you, thank you very much.